good happy Sunday morning, ladies and gentlemen. I hope you're having a fabulous Sunday morning full of relax relaxation, full of upbeat spirits. I'm hoping you've had your coffee, your tea, or if you get down with brunch, your mimosa. I'm hoping you're having a family affair. And thank you for coming back to my channel, Dance to Nails 40s World, where we are a family affair. Yes, that is the center cornerstone of who and what my channel is about. Okay, family getting together, talking up different issues, going over different issues, talking about stuff that's in the family or on the streets of Atlanta. All right, but right now you're visiting Atlanta. And please get ready for me to pour that coffee, that tea, or that wine, or whatever choice of beverage you got going on this Sunday morning. I hope you all blessed. You all are feeling well. But let's get on down into these poll results. Remember, I give you polls throughout the week to interact further with you all because I care that much about you all and what y'all think about issues or videos that I'm doing commentary on. So I put out different uh, types of um, questions out there for you to answer. Some correlates with the videos that I put out during the week, and some of them is just one of those thought-provoking questions that's going on out in the global world and society as it is. So I ask you all to go and vote over there in my uh, community feed um, showcase over there on my uh, channel, and y'all vote. Make it be heard that you all said this, you all spoke that, and this is how you all felt about the questions that I gave during, during out the, through, going throughout the week of things that were related to me and what I was covering and what I felt. And the results are in. Yes, the results are in for October 6th through the 12th. I asked you a series of questions, and here we go with the answers. All right? It said, do you think NeNe Leakes and Wendy Williams are best homies and best friends, or is this a publicity stunt? Okay. Uh, unless it changed, but I'm trying to log into my account to see if anything changed from when I got the results earlier this morning on that particular question. Um. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Okay. Bear with me, guys. Okay. It did change a little. No, it didn't change. Okay. Uh, let me read that poll again. It said, do you think Nene Leakes and Wendy Williams are best homies, best friends, or is this a public relations PR stunt? 96% um, of you all said it was a publicity stunt. Public relations stunt, and while four percent were saying no, they truly are best friends and best homies. Okay, so it's an overwhelming response that y'all believed that it was a publicity relations stunt. Okay, the next polling question was asked: Do you believe Kenya Moore is a go a good friend at heart, or you know, is it at face value that she's a good person? And and y'all were surprisingly tired. I thought it was going to be a no-brainer, especially for my Kenya fanatics or fans or viewers of her. Honey, when I asked that question, do you believe Kenya Moore is a good person at heart and at face value? It was tied at 45%. 45% said yes. 45% said no. And undecided, it was 11%. Okay. So, moving on to the next question. It said, do you think Nene Leakes had anything to do with Tanya Sams and Shamari DeVoe getting demoted to friend status on The Real Housewives of Atlanta? Okay, overwhelming. People said, hell yes. 64% said that. 22% said, hell no. 14% uh, was the latter part saying, doesn't matter. They both are boring. All righty. We go to the next polling question. It says, can Kenya Moore... Be trusted with keeping secrets, all right, of cast members that she is close to on season 12. All right, we're embarking on the new season coming up in a couple of more weeks. And that question was polled for future reference. But you all said 73% said, hell no. While 21% said, hell yes. And 6% 6 remaining people said, Kenya coming and she's saying everybody can get it. 
All right. Kenya's coming in and she's saying everybody can get it. That's right. Six percent uh, voted that way. Uh, we had another poll with Wendy Williams. Uh, it said, was Wendy Williams wrong for calling out one of her guest co-host co members on her show today, which aired on 10-9-2019 for not turning off their cell phone during taping? Okay. 65% uh, of you all said yes, while 35% said no. Um, we went on to Tiny and her little issue she was having about leaving $750,000 worth of jewelry in her car unlocked for anybody to take part of snatching it from her. Um, it, the question was posed, was Tamika Tiny Harris wrong to leave $750,000 worth of jewelry laying around in her car attending? Unattended? 75% of you all said, hell yes, okay? 2% said, hell no. And 22% said, I could care less. <laughs> Woo, y'all are speaking today. Y'all are speaking y'all mind. Y'all are interacting with one another, and I'm loving it. That's what it's all about, coming together as a family, eating, uh, sharing stories, playing spades, playing, uh, you know, whatever kind of uh, board games and just having a big family affair, just loving on one and loving on one another. Whether you agree with each other or not, everybody have their own opinions. Everybody have their individual perceptions of life. Period. Okay, and things that go on within our lives. So I always keep that in mind when you call yourself speaking on someone else. Make sure the plank in your eye is clear before you throw darts. Unless it's a a, a subject out there that social media someone had put out there and you're just gravitating to what you saw and read. You ain't investigating anything. You're just taking at face value what somebody said and you're giving your honest opinion on what you felt about it when you read it. Okay. That's all that I do on my channel. All right. Uh, going back, it said uh, another poll was asked, is Cynthia Bailey uh, longing for her past? Hey, day in the modeling scene or is she becoming a seasoned thirst bucket? Okay. 73% of you all overwhelming, overwhelmingly said she's just becoming a thirst bucket for social media. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Y'all speaking true because I'm saying she's showing titties. She's showing ass. She's showing pretty much everything out there. And I'm like, Cynthia, you too old for this stuff, okay? Show some class about yourself. You ain't trashing. Be classy like you've always given us. But it seems like since you have started dating this Mike person, you just want to show all your assets, okay? I'm not understanding that, baby. But anyway, 27% said she's longing for her past modeling days, okay? Another poll was asked, who is the biggest bully on the Atlanta Housewives reality show? Okay, overwhelming response, which I knew was going to be out the gate. But okay, like I said, each individual on the Real Housewives of Atlanta gives me something. I like something about them. I dislike something about them as well. And I try to speak on both the good and the bad. But most of the time, they're in these streets acting raw crazy. Then, yeah, you're going to get more bad than good commentary from me on that particular person but like i said i knew it was going to happen an overwhelmingly uh amount of people voted 83 percent nene leaks is the true bully on the show 16 percent came in with kenya moore uh everybody seems to like candy and portia because portia got no ratings on it at all but candy got one percent which really don't really count anyway so th they're the good girls on the show <laughs> <laughs> okay. The next polling question was said, do you think Wendy Williams is trying to stir up more trouble between Nene Leakes and Kenya Moore so she can report it back on her show for ratings? Okay, because we all know uh, Wendy Williams could care two cents about anybody. The only thing she really care about is her purse strings, her bank account, and her soon-to-be ex-husband, but I don't think so, Kevin. Okay, Kevin Hunter. All right. But anyway, 77% of you all said, yes, Wendy Williams is just stirring up trouble so she can have more detailed talks on her uh, hot topic subject. 23% said no. And of course, 0% uh, said not sure. Okay. Next question was, do you think Mike Hill is an opportunist? Okay, an opportunist. All right. 77 overwhelmingly said yes, while 5% said no, and we had a not sure of 18%. All right, the next poll said, why do you think Mike Hill first marriage failed? 
overwhelming response of 68% said he cheated. Okay, Cynthia, do you understand what the people are trying to tell you? Not me. So y'all already know how I feel about each every subject I bring out on my uh, platform, how I feel. And then we go into what is being put out there on social media for us to partake. And then I give you all you all's chance to respond back to what I put out there, meaning the subject matter, not how I brought it out to you all, but on the subject matter. OK, we got to stay focused on that when I bring these topics out. Don't don't get into what I feel about it. OK, because it ain't up to, for discussion. Now, if you come to me with some logic, some reasoning and some concrete evidence, I will go back and rethink some things. But then I'll come back and tell you. The uh, proof is in the pudding, like I still felt I was right on the subject. Well, I'll tell you, no, I was wrong. Thank you for bringing that perspective out so I could think another way. And it may make me better for when I do future commentary, okay? Because it's always an out-of-a-box experience. You can't stay in that tunnel vision type of mentality. You always kind of have to think uh, open-minded. OK, uh, that there's different ways, different perceptions people make. So you got to make sure you cover all of those bases before you put stuff out in the uh, atmosphere. But that was a, a great thing. Y'all all had said 68 percent of y'all said cheating was the major contributor or factor that dissolved his first marriage and probably taint his relationships as well. So Cynthia, listen, you should have listened. And my Beyonce voice, you got time. It's what, 10, 10, 20, you're supposed to be getting married. That's a hell of a lot of time. There's a lot of things that could happen between that uh, point of exchange because you might find another man knocking at your door that ain't nothing but perfect for you. So mm, we're going to keep hopes up. We're going to throw prayers up for Miss Cynthia Bailey not to make a second mistake with that opportunist because I was uh I didn't vote on it but I was uh, leaning to that always okay still parked in that driveway opportunist until maybe time we tell he may uh show some good attributes but right now I'm still on that same bag and wagon our power tone nest okay um 18 percent came in saying he was too domineering I really do think that as well uh, 11% said he may be a violent man behind closed do doors and 4% came in with he was too hard to get along with. All right, moving on from him. The next poll we had out there, it said, do you think Kenya Moore wants Nene Leakes perceived HBIC head bitch in charge title as her own on the Real Housewives of Atlanta? 79% of you all said yes, while 21% said no. Okay, moving on from there, it says, do you think or uh, who do you think is the most interesting individual to watch and give us the most entertainment on the Real Housewives of Atlanta show? Now, I had my picks. I would have said Nene or Kenya, but you all spoke and said, hell no. <laughs> Y'all really appreciate what Portia Williams gives. Okay, 42% said Portia Williams, while 16% said Nene Leakes, and we were tied at 21%. Between Candy Burrs and Kenya Moore. Okay, that was an interesting poll. Very, very interesting. So you all are speaking out. Y'all are interacting. And y'all are really doing critical thinking when it comes to these uh, polling questions. You're not just going on your face and really thinking about it. So I appreciate that. I appreciate that and the interaction that you all give me. Okay, the next polling question was the Real Housewives of Atlanta Bravo show. Who do you think have the most proven business savvy, money-making sense, and skill sets. You all said an overwhelming response, which I totally agreed with you all. Y'all said 81% Candy Burris was the most uh, winning when it came to uh, making these big moves, money-making moves, solidifying uh, different business adventures for herself and continually uh, moving and progressing in the right way. And forming a wealth uh, empire that she's building on her own. So I'm like, go candy. Yes, women can roar. They can get their own meat and potatoes and decide whether they want to have vegetables or dessert. Okay. It's their kingdom, queendom, however you want to see. It. It's their empire. So I ain't got nothing wrong with that. Feed yourself, Candy. Make your own table. You know that old adage about what you bring to the table? Candy, I bring the whole house. What the hell are you talking about a table? I bring the whole house. <laughs> and I'm down for Candy. Yes, Candy, do your thing, girl. Do your thing. And I ain't forgot about you. I've been quiet. You've been quiet. But you've been, been doing a lot of positive things. You've been... uh. uh 
uh, elevating other people to do good. You've been recognizing your family. You've been doing your philanthropy uh, shield out in the community. I'm watching you and I hadn't forgot about you. Just so much other stuff is taking presence. But I do want to toot the horns out there for the Real Housewives of Atlanta women that are actually coming out doing something for the community. They're bringing awareness on these different social issues and they're attacking them at their pace, at their level of understanding. And I appreciate that. And I, I have to put Kenya in there, too. She's been doing her little thing while she's been making trouble on the upcoming season and filming and all like that. But everybody's making a positive uh, array of sunshine for the world to be better. And I appreciate that. I really do for all the Housewives of Atlanta cast members. Good job, ladies. OK, but well, moving back, 81 percent said, yes, Kenya is the queen of making things happen. OK, uh, in the business world, as well as her personal life, because she's got that on lock as well. Um, 13 percent said Nene Leakes is the next follower to be doing those things, uh, moving and shaking out there, hustling, making that money. Women empowerment. She's roaring. Three percent. Uh, was tied at Portia Williams and Cynthia Bailey being at the forefront behind uh, Candy and Nene. They're coming in at 3% as a tie. And no one gave Kenya more. Now, I'm surprised about that. I am because Kenya be doing some. She done definitely got her ass back on Real Housewives of Atlanta. So that was a big statement made. Uh, and she does. She's. Uh, I'm sure I got my team twirlers out there. I don't understand why I didn't vote on this now. I don't understand. Why y'all didn't come out the bats for Kenya more? But I can't say no. Kenya has definitely, she she has definitely uh, out there. She's owning her own property as far as her home. She's done a lot of uh, behind the scenes things when it comes to her production company. She writes, um, she produces. And um, damn, she paid off allegedly Matt, um, Mark's $100,000 tax lien. She got some money somewhere. <laughs> She got some money somewhere. So let's not put, I don't think that was a fair poll. I don't think a lot of people came out to support Kenya. So I am taking up for Kenya on that. I will put her in the ranks between, I will put her behind um, Nene Leaks, really. Uh, I will put it how y'all did say it, and I agree, Candid and Nene Leaks. Then I would say maybe her and Portia, or well, maybe Portia make a little bit more money because she has a little bit more adventures going out there that we publicly know about. You know, she's on Dish Nation. She's on The Real Housewives of Atlanta. She has a naked go hair uh, product, hair products that's been out there longer than I think Kenya Moore's products. Uh, so it might be a tie between, between them two, but I might have to put her out the Portia Williams. And of course, Cinder Bailey is, I don't know, she's out there somewhere, but she's doing her thing. Don't let me, I ain't putting her down. She's doing her thing. It's just, you know, her all her stuff is kind of new. We knew about the eyeglasses. We knew about the luggage. But again, where are they now? Are they strictly on Amazon or eBay? What, I mean, what Groupon? What we got going on? I, I, I don't know. But okay, moving on from there, maybe the wine cellar thing would be a better avenue because it's also a vent hall where you can uh, rent some of her space to do your own events and stuff. So maybe that'll pick up for her. But uh, she, yeah, she needs to watch her purse strings as well. Uh, but then when we go on to the next poll, it said if you had a choice, meaning one person to choose from out of, the, out of the Real Housewives of Atlanta household to tell all your personal business to only because you had no one else in your personal life to uh, be trusted with your innermost thoughts and stuff. Uh, if you had the opportunity one time in a lifetime to express it to one of the housewives of Atlanta, which one would you choose? Well, overwhelming amount of you all said Candy Burris. Y'all feel that she can keep secrets. She's down for the cause. She's like four flat tires on your situation and she's going to sit on it unless I guess she has to spill it for uh, emergency purposes. Just like when you go in therapy, unless you want to harm yourself or do harm to others, you might have to break your confidence. So y'all saw her as more so like that. So 53% said Candy would be the one that you would, would trust or entrust with your uh, innermost heavyweight thoughts <coughs> or concerns uh 15 percent said they would trust kenya more with those secrets and a tie came between nine percent where y'all said cynthia bailey and portia williams y'all will entrust and 13 percent said nene leaks will be another ideal candidate that they would trust okay but it was overwhelmingly spoken that candy would be the go-to person to entrust with your uh, feelings and emotions that you couldn't tell anybody else. But I tell you one thing, you better uh, pray it to the Lord and yourself. And then, you know, 
if you had to have somebody on this earthly plane to confide in, pick and choose wisely because it can't come back to hunt you and bite you in the ass, okay? Uh, but a story is never going to get told if you kept it between yourself, or a crime, I should say, if you kept it between yourself and the Lord, okay? I always remember that. That's a good, another golden <laughs> nugget that y'all can take with you all during y'all walks and journeys during this lifetime. Going back to the poll, it said, um, do you think content creators such as myself, okay, and bloggers get a bad rap when it comes to reporting entertainment news on celebrities? Now, I thought, I really thought y'all gonna say, hell, hell no, they don't get women. No, they don't get no bad results. I thought y'all gonna say that, but y'all turn in favor of the content creators and the bloggers. So I was glad to hear that. So at, at least some of y'all feel, 56% of y'all feel we get a bad rep because we bring out these salacious stories. And you have these people saying, why are you bothering them? Why are you the hell? We ain't bothering them. That shit is out there. It's in the news, meaning local news. When you turn on TV, you hearing about it. Or you picking up a magazine, you're reading about it. So why are you going to bash us? Now, if you want to bash somebody, bash the ones they go out there and follow these celebrities like stalkers like the paparazzi they are the true intendants that you could send your hate to but don't come on our platform i can only speak for myself on my platform don't come on my platform and uh you know get on me about spilling my coffee okay and then you decide to drink it and then you want to regurgitate it and then put the bad things on me no don't do that okay because you i give you 60 seconds to tell yourself if you want to hear what I got to say or see what I got to say. And then if you hear it and you stay three mu minutes in to five minutes to the whole video, don't say nothing negative, okay? Because you don't partake, you don't took, you don't bit part of the apple, okay? So you stand in your own shit for the consequences that you may have to bear. But don't fall back at me, okay? But anyway, 56% resounding said yes. Content creators and bloggers get a bad rap. I appreciate that, y'all. I really do, because that means y'all are in our corner when we get y'all these news. And I give it on my channel free of charge. I don't ask for no uh, super chat. I don't ask for this other monetary gains that you have to ask people for. I don't give that. And I don't ever plan on doing that, because y'all already give me you all's attention. Okay? Whether you, you cut me off in 15 minutes of the video, 5 seconds of the video, or you watch the entire video, that's something you can't get back. And that's your time. So I try to make it entertaining for you all and informative. Okay? So y'all will keep coming back. All right. But all thing I ask for you all to do is to share my videos if you choose to do so. But definitely subscribe and like my videos. That's all thing I say. And if you can't do all three, just do that once. Subscribe. Okay? Subscribe to my channel. That's all thing. That's free. That's free. Okay? I give you all this salacious wonderful stories i break out with my commentary and my entertainment and that's all i'm asking you to do okay so i think it's a win-win situation with all the um the work being done on me and the enjoyment is just for you all to partake of okay and y'all just losing your time but getting back to the polling question 56 56 percent said yes we do get a bad rep while 20 percent said no we don't get a bad rep 10 percent said well maybe and eight percent were undecided okay uh the last and remaining poll question was do you think Greg leaks was wrong when he stated during an interview that if a man cheats it's the woman's fault. Lord have mercy. I had, ooh, if y'all watched that video, you haven't watched that video, you need to go over there and watch that video. Because, no, nah, unless Greg come back with something new, he on my shit list. He is going to stay on my shit list to the day I die, okay? Because I don't like men that say that stuff. And I don't like women that say that stuff either because it's a choice. You can choose to cheat or you can choose to not cheat. But one thing you should always think about when that lustful behavior come up in your demeanor and you want to attempt to do it, okay? If you don't lust it in your mind and you're playing around in your mind that you want to do this act, you already done cheated, okay? And that's biblical. But if you don't uh, have enough sense and respect about yourself that you don't want to tell your partner or your relationship that you're in that you're thinking about it or that you are going to do that, then you are lesser than a man, lesser than a woman in my book. And I ain't got no time and no respect for you. All right. But anyway, an uh, overwhelming percent of you all said 73% said yes. Um, 
Greg Leaks was wrong for making that statement, and 27% of you all said, no, he wasn't wrong. And don't get me wrong. People can make assumptions. They can make opinions. But when you're out there deliberately trying to hurt somebody, and you know for a fact that that type of behavior and demeanor is going to hurt somebody, why would you do it? Why not end the relationship? Why not say, look, can we have an open relationship? You know, have a discussion. Have a conversation. Don't just assume that this person wants to stay with you, and they're going to let you cheat on them. OK, that's a different thing when you don't know. But when you do know, you know, them folks ain't going to stay with you and they're going to give you a hard around about time uh, threatening you that if you don't stop doing this, I'm going to be doing this. You see what I'm saying? So they're going to be nothing but a chaotic, uh, uh, unlevel playing field and a house divided when you do these sneak around roundabout things because everything that's done in the dark shell come to the light may not always come a cell but it eventually creeps itself to the forefront and you're gonna have to answer for that bad decision you made on that one night or that one morning or that one afternoon okay so that's my thoughts on the polls i am so glad you all are enjoying it and how i know you're enjoying it because you're going over there and you're expressing your opinions and your perceptions on whatever I'm putting out there. And I appreciate that, y'all. I really, really do. And I want to get to 10,000, okay? 10,000 subs strong or better by June of next year, okay? And then I have to have me one of them event parties where you have a meet and greet. And y'all come see me uh, family fair style, you know what I'm saying? So look forward to that. But I have to get to that pedigree. I have to get to that 10,000 uh, 10, subscriber mark. So I'm asking you, I'm pleading with you, I'm begging you to get me there. Okay? All right. But I enjoyed uh, dialoguing, dialoguing with you this afternoon, giving y'all the uh, feedback, the poll results. And, of course, you're going to continue to get them. Um throughout the week when I'm producing my videos because I like to keep y'all interacting because if it is no you there is no me you get that you see how that yin and yang thing go you see that dominant atmosphere uh goes and I like that y'all should appreciate it too all right y'all uh peace and blessings to you all y'all have a fun filled Sunday afternoon and don't worry I know it's creeping back and for us having to have to go back and hit that nine to five job for five days but hey God willing there's always the weekend and we can relax and enjoy ourselves again but I got you I'm on that with you Monday through Sunday God willing okay so when you're feeling down and you need a look up spirit or you need that little voice that's singing and when y'all when i get my new computer and i can uh actually show you all me in action because you know when the fall and the winter comes sometimes my voice get a little raspy and i can't really hit those high notes here and there so i might have to be in my low tone voice but then y'all get to see me act up cut up live so i'm looking forward to that uh getting my new computer i'm looking at the one that i'm really trying to purchase trying to get my microphone Talking with my uh, nephew about which one is the best one. He's saying it's Yeti. He's saying, ooh, uh, about $120. I was like, oh, they got nothing like $50. <laughs> so I'm trying to do the economy way. I'm trying to do the cheaper way, but I want y'all to see me in full effect. And I'm going to have to do some lives, you know, depending on how we feel one day. Maybe y'all want to talk to me in live time, you know, I'm getting down. But, you know, that's a, uh, something we look strive for in the future. We ain't going to push the wheel too uh, fast because, you know, I'm in 51. So sometimes we have to coast. <laughs> we got to coast along. We got to float on, darling, guitars. We can't be zooming. Zoom, 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 zoom. We can't be doing that. We got to float okay at my age we start to float we don't be doing that fast paced race or running uh -uh. we do that marathon we did that cross country type of uh, racing we got to go slow and steady that's the only way i can see i'm going to get to that 100k when i get that youtube thing in the back of um well my wall where i like yeah 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 that's when you don't win to uh get the gold medal the um what you call it the the number one person you in your your lane you're producing 100 uh thousand you know people subscribers on your channel that love and like you and stuff of that nature that is my potential goal and then i can say wow i made that milestone and you all helped me do it okay so that's what i'm striving for before i hit 65 okay i'm 51 so you see i got time 
to work. But if I can get there before time, hey, or half that time, I'm cool with that too. And then I'm really going to have to throw a party for you all that are wanting to come to Atlanta, Georgia, and I can give y'all that experience. Because a lot of people come here and they say this, that, and the third. But then you're trying to hang with folks that's been here. You ain't hanging with the ones that's born and raised here. That's me. That's the native peach. I know where to go for the low, low. And if you want to spend some money and you want to go to the high class, I know where those are at too. Don't know if you're going to have much fun because I'm like an everyday person. I like to get more bang for my book, okay? I can go anywhere, but you got to have the best food. It could be a hole in the wild. And I know pr plenty of those do joints as well, okay? That make the good food. But if you just want to go because you said you went said place, said environment, I could take you there too. But unless you're about that life and you're a part of that life, you probably can't appreciate that life, all right? I'm in and out that type of life, you know, because I like that exposure sometimes, but then I'm a really a home grown, realistic type of person. You know, I watch my pocketbook, pocketbook strange too. I like a good Dollar Tree sale. And then I like to go to Lenox and, and light it up at Bloomingdale's or, or Nordstrom's. Or like I said, I've been to um, uh, Louis Vuitton, Park Take there. I have a few coaches, Park Take there. I have a little Lamarck Michael Kors. And to me, my best pocketbook has always been the coach bags because they're true leather. They're true to form. And all you got to do is polish them here and there. And you go to Louis Vuitton store, you got some leather items, but they're mostly made of vinyl and trimmed with uh, leather accessories. You know, the handle, the little, you know, pieces they put on there. But the bag itself is vinyl. I don't know. Maybe it's a good grade of vinyl. But hell, when I learned that, I was like, okay, I strive to do that. That was a plateau. I always wanted one when I was 16. I uh, succumbed that feat by, you know, getting my post-secondary education. I thought I had accomplished something. I got a purse. And I tell you, I barely carry that pocketbook. But I have it. You know, I was a logo hoe at one time. All right. I just had to have it. But it's not the best quality type pocketbook. I think we all go on because they got a Louis. Louis said to be this, that, and the third. Um that's what we should attain and scribe for. But to me, it's kind of please. If they ain't got them little things that sit at the bottom that carry your pocketbook that it sits on so it can not have so much bacteria or germs that it can catch on. Because, you know, women, we, we like to throw our pocketbook everywhere but where it needs to go. You know what I'm saying? Uh, that's a lot of germs. You have to keep that upkeep. You have to keep it up. So, I, I you know, hey, it was something I wanted. I had the extra money. It wasn't uh, coming from my bill money and then like that. So I threw caution to the wind, got it. And it sits mostly in my um closet. Okay. And then I tried to give it to my daughter. She said, I want that. <laughs> she has her own brand names and things and places and things she rocked when it comes to labels. So it just is what it is, people. But I enjoyed you all as usual video went a little longer but y'all kind of know those videos go longer when we're talking about polling results because sometimes i have to be in and out and trying to discuss this and that and third with y'all but all right i'm ending this video i will see you next video y'all be blessed okay bye bye